This is uh, Manti Elementary. Uh, actually, won the uh, science fair project here. Kind of cre uh, created a, a plexiglass beehive where we can track the migration of the queen bee. Uh, I always loved science. I remember uh, it was my third grade teacher who told me that uh, I wouldn't have a career in science. Uh, it seemed to kind of hit a stone wall when you know those people that you look up to that you think that you think care about you, your you know, teachers and so forth, tell you that you don't have a career. Uh, not necessarily because you don't have the capabilities, but because the dream seems so outlandish that it can't happen. And uh, I'm definitely uh, grateful I listened to the right voices, uh, listen to the right people, uh, the people who believed in me, believed in uh, that I, I can achieve great things, um, versus the, the ones that believe nothing more than they can see in front of them. I'm Dr. Joshua Plant, Vice President of Research and Development for ZG International, and uh, I want to take just a few minutes to tell you a little bit about my story, what led me to ZG International. So this is, this is Manti. This is, uh, this is where my earliest memories started. This is where uh, uh, my passion as a scientist began. This is where I first lived. Um, you know, it, it's kind of weird uh, standing here now um, and seeing where my life is now and where it came from. It's a little overwhelming standing here. Um, I haven't been back to this place in years. And uh, I, I, I would be lying if I said it's changed much. It actually really hasn't changed that much at all. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing flood of memories right now. Being a, a first-generation college student, living in a small trailer in a small town, you know, I, I let the dream that I had of becoming a, a scientist dwindle because I let my environment, you know, rather than my passion for science, set my expectations. And so fast-forwarding through this time, I was 22 years old. I had no real college under my belt, and I was providing for my family by stocking shelves at the local big box outlet. And uh, with a growing family, the concern sent in, and I knew I was on a path of consistent mediocrity. And as I was expressing the frustration with my wife, she asked, you know, what, what do you want to become? And I told her that I've always had a passion for science, and, and her reply, I still hear to this day, let's do it. Those simple words. And, and at the time, becoming a scientist seemed like this insurmountable task of so many unknowns, so many, so many variables. And soon the environment began to set the dreams for me again. But my wife, she stepped in quickly and responded, you know, that, that she says, I, I don't know what the path to becoming a scientist is either. But I do know what that first step is. And so taking that leap of confidence in ourselves, we took that first step, beginning in a small lab as an undergraduate, working late into the evenings on independent research projects, I was able to graduate with honors and make some key discoveries. Those discoveries allowed me to present uh, my research to the American Association for the Advancement of Scientists. This then presented the opportunity for me to be awarded the National Institutes of Health Fellowship as an undergraduate, a prestigious award given to just about 10 students each year. Following the completion of that NIH fellowship, I remember being called one day while I was sitting at the lab by Harvard Medical School, where they reached out to me to offer me a biomedical doctoral program. Now this is a program that usually takes about six to eight years to achieve. And with an amazing network, I was able to graduate in under four years, the first in my class. You know, I've been reflecting upon this and upon all these achievements, you know, where I came from, and I realized they all began with a simple foundation, a simple foundation of having a network of people that believed in me. As you can imagine, kind of growing up in this, this environment, um, one a lot of times may not necessarily have a the comprehension or the confidence, I guess, of, of going to Harvard and, and working for the National Institutes of Health. Those dreams aren't meant for an individual kind of growing up in this environment and realizing ultimately that everyone else around me that loved and cared about me had the confidence in me that I could achieve those things. They saw things in, my, in me that I didn't see in myself. All I saw in myself for many years was that which you see here. And uh, my parents, my siblings, my, my spouse, children, all of these individuals, these people who have loved me uh, and have seen that confidence in me or that ability in me have given me the confidence to, to, to reach and, and to aspire for those great things. And it is amazing once we see the confidence that others have in us and realize that, the, that we have the capabilities to do it, that as we make that step 
towards achieving our goals and our, our, our dreams, that that path starts to lay itself out. That's why I love this, uh, this industry. That's why I love uh, network marketing, is it gives you the ability to, to achieve more than what you felt you could. It gives you the ability to, to go beyond that which your humble beginnings may say you can achieve. And it's the confidence of these people that love you, that see that you can achieve so much more, that allows you to grow. And it's the perfect industry that has modeled that which has carried me from my success, uh, from Manti to Harvard. And, uh, and I love helping other individuals do the same. <laughs>